Hi everyone, this is Chris with Homegrown How To's. Today we're going to talk a little bit about sanitation. Um, a couple of things you want to remember. There's two, three really, types that you can use to sanitize your equipment. When we talk about equipment, we're talking about spoons, siphons, any kind of tubing that might come into contact with it, the inside of your carboy, bubbler, bottling bucket, anything that's going to touch your brewing uh, liquid, whether it be a wine or if it happens to be a beer uh, or some kind of a mash, anything. Okay. Uh, the first one that you can use, which is what this right here is, uh, this is actually a gallon of water mixed with a Camden tablet or potassium metabisulfite. That will suffice to clean your equipment, break it up, keep it under. You can actually store this and reuse it for about six months. Um, if you go this route though, it is a rinse. So you can do that. You can also go with about a tablespoon or a cap full of bleach to a gallon of water. Now Again, that is a rinse, and it can potentially lead to off flavors even if you do get it rinsed out. But if you're in a quick fix, you can use that one. The third one is the no rinse cleaners. Um, they're probably the best, but they also tend to be the messiest, and they can be a little dis discerning. Um, when you have those, you're going to see foam left in your bubbler or in your carboy or bucket or whatever, that's okay. That stuff is completely safe, but just be aware of it. And it will come out as you uh, fill up the carboy or whatever it is with whatever liquid it is you're um, brewing or fermenting. So that's just a quick overview real quick on the sanitation. Again, make sure you get everything. When you're doing your bottles, get the inside, sanitize the cork, sanitize the plunger, anything and everything that you can think of that might come into contact with your beverage that you're trying to create. There's your tip for the day on sanitation. Again, this is Chris with Homegrown How-Tos. Thanks for watching.